estamos en un caos y la gente lo tiene que ver. Yo llevo viviendo aquí en este país 40 años y nunca había visto un desastre tal. Eh, todos los precios, la gasolina, la inmigración, el trabajo, las oportunidades, todo. No hay un solo punto, es muchos puntos. Juan Mendoza reporting for Rebel News. We're here in Florida for 4th of July, where dozens and dozens of boats have been coming to show their support for America. From the president on down, these people took an oath uh, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, and they are violating that oath of office with their reckless open border policies. So today, Florida fights back. Thank you. We've been talking with people around here to see what their thoughts are right now of just America and 4th of July. Uh, what are your thoughts about this 4th of July? I think it's, it's good that there's people coming out to show support for America, but I also think that America has really been on the decline and there's not as many people out, there's not as many fireworks. First of all, they can't afford the fireworks like they used to because that went up a lot. And um, it's sad, but I love my country. I'm a fifth generation American and uh, nothing will deter me from lo loving my country. It's amazing to see the number of people that uh, have come out uh, the outpouring of patriotism back in this country. Uh, this is all about returning government to the American people. Um, what we're seeing in the White House now, or we're seeing from the Democratic side of the House right now, is no, we're the only ones that can tell you what you need to do. And America doesn't want that. America wants America wants the government returned to them. You know, when, when people have trouble being able to take their families on vacation, uh, when we see the price of gas go through the roof and we're on the verge of a world war, when you've got uh, people just struggling to make ends meet because of the decisions of an administration, they're done. They're over it. They want a choice. Uh, and you talk about something called buyer's remorse. There's consequences for elections and people are looking back and saying, okay, I didn't do right in that one. I need to do it. For it. And they're, they're coming out in droves. A million votes from Democrat to Republican nationwide. We're seeing the same thing in Florida. People are saying enough is enough, I'm done. P Democrats, uh, soft Democrats, independents, uh, everywhere across the board, people are coming over. It's encouraging to see, and it's great on the 4th of July to see that patriotism to say, no, people fought to get us where we are, I'm going to fight now. Parece maravilloso. Eh, yo estoy también festejando el 4 de julio, aunque hoy es 3 de julio, pero yo creo que el país tiene que ser consciente de lo que está pasando. Y me supongo que esto es una demostración de que la gente quiere apoyar a su país, quiere llamar a todos los ciudadanos a darse en cuenta de que tenemos que, lo voy a decir muy de frente, un mejor gobierno. Y bueno, eso es todo. Yo creo que por eso estamos acá, mirando esto y tratando de apoyar en lo que más podamos. ¿Cuáles son algunos de los grandes problemas que están happening right now? Lo que todo el mundo está diciendo. El gas which he should be drilling. I mean, this is intentional. It's not even like an accident. It's intentionally bringing America down and making his his aide made a mistake and said one world order. So now we know what his agenda is because you heard it on the news. Um, so it's disgusting what he's doing to this country. That's my feeling on it. Uh, any last comments you have? No, go out and vote Republican. <laughs> Do you have uh, anything you'd like to say for our audiences that are in uh, Canada as well? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Look, um, we love great neighbors. Uh, we have got to stand up for those that um, can't take care of themselves, as we've seen in other parts of the world. Um, we need to uh, we need to understand that uh, in the area we we are in, we need to work for free governments strong jobs, strong economies, and all pulling in the same direction. Uh, we can criticize each other, leaderships can criticize each other, um, but until we have everybody working, until we have strong economies, this part of the, this part of the world needs to pay attention. Estamos en un caos y la gente lo tiene que ver. Yo llevo viviendo aquí en este país 40 años y nunca había visto un desastre tal. Eh, 
todos los precios, la gasolina, la inmigración, el trabajo, las oportunidades, todo. No hay un solo punto, es muchos puntos. Hay que, hay que pedirle, no sé a quién, a Dios, seguramente que nos ayude, que la gente abra sus mentes y se den cuenta de lo que está pasando en el país. ¿De quién es la culpa? Cada cual tiene que <risa> decidir de quién es la culpa. Pero que hay un problema muy grande en este país, lo hay, y es la primera vez que veo yo este desastre. If you would like to help us fund these reports and help us expand our coverage of Miami and the Florida sector, you can do so by going to rebelnews.com.